Okay, so I found this guide on Tom's hardware uh, to overclock your Raspberry Pi to 2147 gigahertz uh, and 750 on the GPU. And uh, I've done it on uh, my SSD uh, running version of Raspbian and uh, it's worked fine as you can see here from sudo on the screen. Uh, 2147 it shows you the correct clock speed. Uh, but I haven't really got any games or anything on this version, I don't think. Uh, just super tax car. But uh, what I wanted to do was I've been playing around with Dreamcast and Dreamcast is finally fully working uh, on uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 and it's working at a decent speed uh, with the official version of RetroArch. But what I thought, the reason I did this was because I wanted to get uh, the overclock to 2147 but running on, on lacquer on RetroArch. But I've tried it and um, I used the method in this um, so it talks about sudo apt update, sudo apt dist upgrade and so on. Uh, so I've done all of that. Uh, I've applied the firmware update which I thought maybe uh, was something that happened within the Pi so it would work, it would open it up for higher clock speeds with other systems. Um, but I can only clock it at uh, 2750 on the GPU uh, with an over voltage of 6. Um, so I'll leave it running with that uh, and I'll show you how I got on with the uh, with the Dreamcast emulation. But yeah, I was really hoping that this would have worked on that. Maybe it's something that has to be done to RetroArch or Lacquer to allow it to run at the higher speed. I When I read through, I was just on the understanding that it changed the firmware, but maybe it's something that's still on the little SD card uh, and that's why it's only working with Raspbian. Anyway, if you know why it doesn't work with uh, Lacquer uh, and RetroArch, if you could let me know, uh, I've tried it several times. I've tried overclocking a little bit, um, but anything over 2000 doesn't work. I did actually get the GPU running at, at 800, um, but uh, I don't know if that makes much of a difference. But anyway, let's have a look at the games. Okay, so this is Tony Hawk's first. Uh, I'll just press the home button just to show you uh, any options I've changed, because I'm not sure if I've changed an awful lot, actually. Uh, but I'll just go through them not too far, so if you're looking to see if there's anything that's different to what you're using in your setup, uh, you'll be able to see it. I think the only thing I've turned on really is uh, frame skip onto one. There you go, there's frame skip on one. Uh, I've toggled loads of different settings just to try it, and these seem to work pretty much the best. Select that, select resume, continue, right. And I've just changed my HDMI because I had some weird weird issue with uh, like green speckles all over the screen and I was figuring it was because I was overclocking but actually it was literally just that it was it was a problem with the can I get through there oh it was a problem with the HDMI but this actually plays absolutely fine uh, and is such a great game to play oh I thought I could get a little grind then Yeah, cheek. Fifty bucks. So I could play this for a long time, but I won't keep on going. You can see that works pretty well. Uh, so if I go back, uh, so Dave Mirror, which is one of my favourite games, probably my favourite game of all time, unfortunately doesn't run that well on here, uh, especially the intro, the intro is really sketchy, uh, and again I tried loads of the settings, and uh, there are there are some games that just, you can see there, sounds awful, and also uh, all the intro videos struggle, um, and as I say, there's loads of settings you can try, but it doesn't really tell you an awful lot about the settings. This runs really well on my uh, Nvidia Shield uh, with Redream emulator, which is excellent. But I'm hoping that you know, time as the Pi goes on and uh, people keep developing from it, uh, and also if the 2147 overclock uh, works, then that would that would possibly be all this game needs because it's just a little bit slow. So I've also got oh, I don't need a load statement. So it should be a bit faster than this.
but it's it's working and it speeds up at different times. But as you can see, it's kind of not worth playing because it is that little bit too slow. Although it's quite kind of some gives you the option of doing some quite cool tricks or not like that. Uh, so let's go back. And we'll try Xena Warrior Princess, which actually looks all right. Seems to do this weird thing where you see the, the lacquer logo comes up. And quite often when that comes up, it's going to crash. But in this case, it doesn't seem to. Uh, now, did I do a save state on that? I did. I uh, don't really know any of the controls on this, but I thought I'd show sort of running around and stuff. Seems to be the uh, right analog stick that does... <laughs> All right, mate. Cheat. What is all the attack buttons? Oh, there's jump. Oh, look at that. Off the wall. Look. This looks pretty interesting, really. All right, all right. What was... What was um I can't remember what block, oh that's block, Look, pull back on that joypad, yeah, come on, bring out your fire. Now I don't know how fast this is supposed to run, but it feels pretty playable, and as you can see, Xena wins. Uh, right, so, what else have I got? The Spider-Man one, oh no, that's N64. Was that? Oh, sorry. The <laughs> scene was an N64 game. Ignore that. Uh, what else have I got? I've, I was going through loads. Of, I still need to look at the N64 bit because I need to play around with that before I do it. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, a Dynamite Cop. So this is definitely a Dreamcast one. Little bonus N64 footage there. To be continued. Now this this is an enjoyable, just just a fun little game. There's some real comedy elements in it. It's a bit slow. As you can see, oh, very slow on that bit. So some bits run faster than others. So it needs a little bit of work, but again, that, that overclock, if I can get it to go a little bit further, and also if someone optimizes it a bit more, that could all help, couldn't it? But this, this was so slow to be not at all enjoyable. This is at least still enjoyable. Uh, I mean, it could do with speeding up, obviously, but yeah, it's... Can I pick up the gun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one was the grab? There's a grab one here somewhere. Okay, so I wonder if I close the content and then go back in it fresh. Maybe that makes a difference because that definitely played better yesterday. Uh, so something on a similar vein, this zombie one. Okay, so if it's done that, it's crashed. Let's just try that again, because it was working yesterday. Oh, it's working today, right, so. Uh, oh, shoot. Hold up, how do I get the machine gun? I want the machine gun. Machine. I got it. Oh, <laughs> quick. How do I change the machine gun? Obviously concentrate on the guy with the gun first. Shotgun's quite effective. Help 
I'll update it. God blimey. Alright. Good job I've got bullets as that took loads. Look out. I got ya. Shotgun. Oh, that. Shotgun. Shotgun. There's probably a run here somewhere. Is that run? Oh, yeah. X is run. Yeah, he looks pretty mean, doesn't he? Oh, and these guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can't use that on him then. Right, so that was decent. I'll definitely go back to that. I'm going to close the content every time now and uh, do it that way. Right, so what else did I have here that's Dreamcast? And you're possibly shouting at the screen saying, play that, play that N64 game. Uh, right, so Dreamcast. Oh, there's some new ones I've put on here. So I haven't tried Trick Style, so I don't know if this will work. Oh, looks like it's going to. Appears to have crashed. Let's restart it. Right, let's not press any buttons and let it let it do its stuff. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. So Echo the Dolphin. I haven't seen the uh, the Sega version, the Dreamcast version of this. I used to play it on the Mega Drive. Be interesting to see how much better the graphics are on the Dreamcast. Oh, that looks pretty decent. That looks really clear. And the sounds, although it's got a little bit scratchy, it's not it's not as bad as some of the other games have been. Doctor Who. So it looks like it's uh, it's fully 3D as opposed to the old 2D version that I remember playing on the Mega Drive. Yeah. So I haven't got control yet, have I? No. Cutscene. Oh, I'm swimming. Oh. Right, so left stick, left, right, down, up. A swims along, does it? Yeah. Can I shoot out the water? Yeah, <laughs> of course I can. It's really disorientating. Alright. Nice, so when you got up the level, what do all the other buttons do? So B does like a like a boost. <laughs> That's pretty decent graphics, but I do the the angles are weird. Maybe it's just just takes bigger and used to. What drones down here? Some right and go. No. That's possibly worth worth looking again. Let's go for one last jump out of the water. Oh, not onto the rocks. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. They're smooth rocks. Okay. Well, that's a game I've never seen before. Uh, now, was there anything else that 
Oh yeah, I was going to try that surfer one. Bit of a nautical theme. So this could mean it's crashed, or it could mean that it's rebooting and it looks like it's crashed. Let's try that surfer game again. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, Windows CE. So some of the uh, Windows CE games, I think, aren't supposed to work, or there's a little toggle for Windows CE games, because I'm sure uh, when I tried one of the Sega Rally ones on this, it didn't work. And this might not let me pass the first screen. Right, let's have a look in options and see there was something about, yeah, force Windows CE mode. So I must remember to turn that one off in a minute. Just check that I definitely did that, I definitely did that. Right, so restart that and see if that makes a difference. No, I'm guessing that's not gonna work then. Uh, I probably wanna turn off that setting, uh, but I'll do that in the next game. So I've got, I'm sure I've got some more games on my stick. So let's just, Load the core. Some games just don't get detected and also maybe I've added it and haven't done another scan. There seems to be loads more on here. Right, that's the only one, only Dreamcast one. So I use the RetroPie way of putting all your stuff onto a memory stick. So this is my memory stick is I've called it Pi 4 MU32. Uh, and so I've got RetroPie mount on the uh, on the root of the memory stick. And then I've got a ROMs folder. And there you go, you can see I've got a Dreamcast folder because there should be a... Oh no, there's nothing else in there. Okay, so I thought I had another game in there. Uh, I haven't, hope you like this anyway. I'll be doing a... An N64 one soon. I've been putting a load of ROMs in that to try it out. Uh, I did try uh, Jaguar, Atari Jaguar, but it is shocking. Uh, it's incredibly slow. And I even tried it, after I tried it on this, I tried it on my Shield, thinking that the Shield would be able to run it. But even on the Shield, it was very slow. Um, I don't know what that is. That's just popped up. Uh, that The GameCube have not got to work. Um, and but the N64 I have, as you saw, a little sneak preview of Xena Warrior Princess, um, and uh, yeah, there's some stuff that work alright on there. Um, although I have another N64 one, uh, which was in RetroPie, which actually worked pretty well, and I'm not sure how much I overclocked on that one. So that'll be interesting to try again. Uh, but uh, I hope you like this, and thanks very much for watching. If you've got any advice on the overclocking and getting that higher overclock please leave a comment uh, and I'll give it a try. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.